We are at the Big Bob's 20th Annual Convention. We are in Kansas City. I'm with Brad Milner. He is a, you have a Big Bob store, and if I'm not mistaken, you also have a Flooring America store. Uh, yes, we do. Big Bob's in Flooring America in Yuma, Arizona. Okay. Now, you're being used very often in this, uh, con in this convention as a model for sort of the new look of Big, Big Bob stores. So what you must have done is say, hey, you know, I can make this whole floor look better in my big bobs, and you made some changes. Talk about that. Yeah, what we had in the, in the past, we had a traditional outlet store um, where we had, you know, hundreds of rolls of carpet on the floor, tons of remnants lining up the walls, uh, pallets of tile everywhere. And we just thought that was the way that a, a remnant or a, a outlet store was supposed to look. Um, being in the flooring business, that's the way everybody thinks they look. Well, we started asking our customers what they liked about us, what they didn't like about us. And the feedback that we got from our female consumer, um, the negative that they gave us was that our showroom was not attractive and easy to shop. We thought it was easy to shop. You see the whole roll of carpet, but in actuality, you only see a small piece of the carpet um, because there's other rolls stacked on top of it. So we started coming up with other ways um, to trying to innovate and come up with new display systems. And we um, went to the Sonitube system where we wrapped the tubes with carpet, lined our walls with all of our stocking materials. We use one size for our running line products and then a smaller size for our promotional goods so we're not cutting as much off of a promotional roll. Um, it helped us from a financial standpoint too because now we know exac exactly what our sample expense is instead of losing material due to dirty flaps and things like that. Um, and the other thing we did was we removed all the pallets um, out of the showroom and, and went to a pallet topper system so that they could see more of the material. So it's like a big table, sort of. Yeah, but it's, it's got an angle. And just recently, within the past two weeks, um, feed, I mean, we started this a couple of years ago. Feedback that we were getting from our consumer was that they were too tall because our, our typical consumer is female. And sh being you know, shorter than, than most men, um, they couldn't get a good visual on it, so we actually cut them all down, and it really opened up the showroom. You can see from one side to the other, and the feedback that we've bought, got, that we've received so far has just been phenomenal. So, What's happened in terms of sales since you started this whole change? Well, our sales increased. Um, our ability to control our inventory was, is a huge thing for us. Now all of our, all of our inventory has been located. We use RFMS, uh, so we know exactly where every piece of material is in our warehouse and we don't have a forklift on the showroom floor anymore we used to have the forklift running around the you know the warehouse showroom so pick and pick very consumer friendly no either. no it's it's loud um, we have to ask people to move out of the way because we need to cut a piece of material for something that's going out right now um, now that's a warehousing function that's done in the back and it's actually a display system and it makes it easier from an upgrade standpoint so now there's a logical step from point A to point B to point C to point D so the powers that be saw your store and say, hey, this is a great idea. We're going we're gonna to do this. Yeah, we actually we started doing some, some testing um, in other markets where they would take and put a sauna tube on the wall, and then they would take the same piece of carpet, um, sometimes call them two different names, but they would have the material in two different spots in their showroom, and they were way out selling off of the sauna tube than off the roll on the floor. So we had to do, we did that with Big Bob because he wasn't sold on the fact, he wanted to see the numbers in it, and the numbers were very, very clear that the, the sauna tube selling system was much better than rolls of Now, they were talking about the three-year plan and what Big Bob's is going to do going forward, and you were included in that. It's, this is a unique organization in the fact that the people that are included in that process. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a real interesting process to go through. Um, we sat down with the corporate team, the management team at corporate. Uh, there was two of the, of the members involved, which was me and Vinny. Um, and it's just a real uh, unique uh, environment to see and to help, help, help the whole group grow. Um, if, the, if the corporate structure is healthy and has a good vision for where they want to go, then the members have much more of a likelihood to be healthy and have a good vision for where they want. But it seems like there's more give and take and involvement from the members in this organization. Sure, it's, not, it's not a top-down organization. It's definitely a bottom-up organization. 
uh, a lot of the things that happen, not, not just things that I've done, but other, other members across the country. Um, I've always said that I learn more at these conventions at lunch than I do in sessions, you know, uh, talking to people and what they're doing and what, what's been successful for them. Um, we don't come up with new ideas. We just take other people's ideas and put them into place and see how they work for us. You know. Work for St Steve Jobs. There's no reason it wouldn't work for you. Um, now, as I recall, we, we had talked two or three years ago, and did you start out in another city and move to Yuma? Yeah, I started out in Phoenix. Um, I had three stores in Phoenix, and then I had a, um, a new construction division. Uh, I had three small small stores. I had a, I had a big Bob store also in the in the East Valley. Uh, I sold all of those and moved to Yuma. I'm from Yuma. Uh, we opened in, in Yuma in 1990, end of 98, and uh, started out with just me and one employee. And uh, then my uh, about a year later, my brother-in-law came in and, and started working with us, and so now he's a, he's a partner in the business. Uh, my father, when he retired, he came and started working with us. Now he's getting ready to retire again. He's, he's going to be done done this time, he said. Um, we brought a couple of our people from Phoenix, moved down with us. Uh, now we're right at about nine, 92 employees as we, as we stand right now. So What's ahead? Do what? <laughs> What's ahead? Well, we're looking at other locations outside of our market. Uh, we've kind of topped out in our market. Um, we have a large market share, I think. Um, so now it's a matter of uh, finding new markets to go into. I like the secondary markets, uh, so a little bit smaller cities, not, not, not you know, the Phoenix, the, the Tucson. I, li I like stuff that's a little bit smaller just because I think it's more cost-effective to get, to get into business. So. We'll, we'll keep up with you. It sounds like that's very interesting. Very interesting. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Brad, thanks very much for talking with us. We've been talking with Brad Milner. He is a Big Bob's retailer. We're at the Big Bob's convention in Kansas City. And this is Talk Floor TV.